one clap away from a flow state is what you said. I love that expression. Like you're always one flow state away from whatever you want. All right. So how does someone get in the flow state? And what does that mean to you to be in the flow state? (sighs) Come on, rapid fire. So flow state, pretty simple ways to understand you're in one. You don't have a sense of self. You're effortlessly creating momentum. You're in a, in a passionate state. So it's like, it's coming from a, a joy, ecstasy, bliss type of vibration. That look, looks different for everyone. And you're really competent at whatever you're doing. I'd say if when all those things meet, the center points of flow state. Can we acronymize that? And can we actualize that? <laughs> We've already actualized it in this podcast. Um, an acronym. I, I would need like a pen and paper. And what like, if you? What if you're a freestyle away from acronymizing it? Okay, let's see. And maybe you can flow state about what a flow state is. Oh, bliss, ecstasis, competence, success. It's like because because like. <laughs> oh, keep going. We're channeling Hal Elrod right now. All right. Um, no, no. I think you're channeling you in the form of a flow state. <laughs> flow state. Uh, here's your bait. Ooh, Let's go on a okay. date. This oh, is your talk- fate. Oh, so you're talking about you're talking about entering our pacious flow state in which my pace realizes there's no weight because my momentum is no gate. You can't gatekeep what's going to satiate the beekeep like a hexagonal colony. I honey pollinate everything that's polity. Political correctness is a fallacy. And I open up to what's free. That's the bliss inside of thee. Channeling divine so all can see. All see and I is one to be. To be or not to be is what Hamlet stated. At the same time, the vibration syncopated. Through the visual sound system, I open up a blistering rhythm. There's no passionate way to be further than an ism. But isms separate the human organism. Organism might be the only true ism that I'm going to speak to in this prison. <laughs> Here we are. There you got it. Yeah, I like it. Um, the way I, so, you know, Tyson and you and several others, but Tyson and you in particular have been really catalytic for creating a space, a flow state in the form of what I would judge to be like poetically speaking in tongues. <laughs> That's a great way to talk about it. <laughs> yeah, what is that? Dude. Okay, so there's there's a hot word. This is a hot word. Glossolalia. Glossolalia is the psychological term for speaking in tongues. And it's actually... Uh, I mean, what I was doing was like channeling language at a high speed and barely in time. This is how I think about it. Barely in time, semantically piecing it together. So that means it has meaning. So like in my head, I'm just rhyming words. And at the last minute, which I couldn't think about, I just trust that it'll semantically make sense. Whereas uh, glossolalia is like gibberish. So like in charismatic churches, when someone's just like, that's like glossolalia. This boy and girl are going to be well equipped when the time comes to take their places as worthy members of adult society. Ha, 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 ha.